Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can display testimonials on your WordPress Divi website. So on this site here, uh, you'll see one way we've got them is a testimonial slider. So basically, it's just got the testimonial text there, and it just uh, slides through on its own every few seconds. The other way is on the testimonials page here, we're using the testimonial module, uh, which has got a preset style and um, has the quote icon at the top and they're just listed down the page. So if we go back to the home page and we want to edit or add a testimonial here, click on edit page. Now we'll go right down the bottom of all the modules on the page and we'll see the sliding testimonials. So if we go in there, you can see there they all are. They're just called new slide, new slide. Uh, so if you go in and have a look at one, we haven't used in this case heading, button text, any of that. You just scroll right down to the bottom and there it is there, the testimonial. So we've got who the testimonial was by, we've got the inverted commas, everything like that. Now if I make changes to that or, or anything like that, I just press save and save and exit and then update over here and that will that's how to edit one if you want to add a new one go and in, click into the module settings and you can press add new slide and just a reminder nothing in any any of these things up here needs to be done just scroll to the bottom put the testimonial in here with the inverted commas and the other or the quote quote marks and everything and then press save uh, so I'll just remove that one uh, now down here these settings are all you know pretty much default show arrows uh, automatic animation I've turned on that's so that this testimonials slide through without you having to uh, you know click the arrows uh, now if you did want to change the amount of time it took to slide in between testimonials you can do that by putting a number in here okay so any changes or adding anything save and exit then update now if we go back to the home page so that was for testimonials like this if we go to the testimonials page in this website and we want to make changes to any or add any new ones we press edit page and you'll see here's all the testimonials here now say if we want to make a change to that first one you can see there's the author name job title company name everything like that we've left blank uh, and down in here this is different to the other one there's we don't put the inverted commas or quote quotation marks just put the actual text of the testimonial and the module will do the rest so if I just made any changes there I could just press save and exit and then update if I want to add a new testimonial here I can just duplicate using the clone module or I can actually insert module testimonial and just and sorry just like before we need an author name and then message down the bottom save update now if we view the page and scroll right down the bottom you'll see there's the new one I've just added and to see how to remove testimonial that's the last one I added there to check I can just go in and have a look there we are test I can just press the X there and it's gone press update and there we go that's a basic overview of a couple of ways you can display testimonials on your website